Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to review Alum, which is a point and click adventure game made with the Adventure Game Studio tool, which is very versatile. I, I, I think a lot of adventure games, modern adventure games, are being made with the uh, Adventure Game Studio software. You play Alum, who is desperately searching for a cure for his wife who's suffering from a mysterious illness. If I have to describe this game, in terms of look and feel, I'd it's say this is a cross between spoke. Beneath the Steel Sky and King's Quest. So it's so mixing it a dystopian like setting with so some life. fantasy elements. I like the come? story quite a bit. It, it has ready? religious undertones, which might put some people off. But I think it's a good uh, versus oh. evil story what? that is Here's pretty much package, tongue in cheek. So there's some humor uh, sprinkled all over this game, and I do appreciate that. The art style or the uh, the graphics, they look kind of good. Pixel art, it's not super great, but it mimics that old school look. Especially the characters look a little basic, and especially their animation, so they could have used a little bit more work on that. But the game offers uh, quite a few nice backdrops and, and locations for you to visit. And every character in the game is fully voiced, and I do appreciate that, although it's sometimes quite amateuristic. And, for instance, like the main character's voice is very uninspired, so almost almost like he's, he's sleepy almost all the time. If I lose a flower from my head, me eyes are gonna fall out. Come on, Glide. That's not going to happen. He's just messing with you. No way. He won't make that up. He's my brother. Fine. Let me ask him about it. Okay. And there's also a cool minimalistic soundtrack that underlines the things that are happening on the screen. The gameplay is your classic point-and-click adventuring, which means you'll be moving from screen to screen, talking to all the characters, finding and combining items to complete certain tasks. The interface is very useful, and it lets you easily switch between actions like walk, look, and use. And you can also run through your inventory items quite easily, uh, so it's very convenient. There is no aimless walking around finding the right item, so the game doesn't shower you with all kinds of items that you may or may not need in this game. It's all pretty straightforward, which again, I do appreciate. Also, the puzzles are logical, given the situation you're in. So, no moon logic, Surface. so to speak, that the older point-and-click adventure games Joking. suffered from. There are also some nope. mini-games thrown into the mix, so it's all very varied, and I do appreciate that. Later on, things do get a little bit more complex, but if you don't know what to do next, then there's a handy hints option uh, that will get you uh, going. In conclusion, I found this to be a very charming point-and-click adventure game that is somewhat let down or held back by the low production values. As this isn't a super taxing game, I think it is a really nice starting point for newcomers to the genre. I think experienced point-and-click veterans will probably find this a little bit too casual. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.